While you and me repeat this bittersweet heat is suffocating. Hey guys, it is Thursday morning. Oh my gosh, it's been a while. My fish room is a royal mess. We have been super busy for the last week or so. This always hits in October. My daughter's birthday is like three days before Halloween. <laughs> so we go from her birthday to Halloween to Thanksgiving to Christmas in very quick succession. So there's a lot of preparing that needs to be done and oh, it's been nuts. But let's take a look at the things that have changed around the fish room in like the last two weeks. So you may notice all of these tanks now have bright purple and blue and green plants. Um, we have trouble growing plants in any of the beta tanks because they're just not getting enough light and lights are expensive, electricity is expensive, but we still want to provide our fish with places to hide and rest. So we went ahead and ordered a bunch of these very soft, fake plastic plants, a couple of them for each tank. And so now all of them have these lovely, gaudy looking plants to hide in and play in and they're really enjoying it. I've noticed they've colored up a lot. They really love it. Rem has lost all of her stress stripes. She's looking fantastic. Oh, she's so blue. Komori likes to play in hers. So that's one change. They've been doing really good. Uh, we've gotten enough duckweed and frog bit now to kind of share it between all of the tanks. So the tanks that do sit in a little bit of light have all got live plants in them, as well as snails. Let's see what else has changed. All of the fish are doing really, really well. We did pull Ceyron out for a couple of days to put him in some methylene blue because he keeps biting his fins and they're looking really ragged and I didn't want them to get infected or anything. So we gave him about two days in some methylene blue and he's doing fine. It's not progressing to rot and he seems a lot more active now, which is great. He just, he wants to be a placat, what can I say? All of the guppies are doing really, really well. Uh, they have been breeding. So we were getting some new black and blues, hopefully. There's a ton of baby guppies in this particular tank. If I can find any of them. You can see them kind of hanging out there in the middle of your screen. We still have snails for sale. We have been selling them off. They're doing really, really well and they're growing really, really fast. Some of these are gonna get too big to sell after a while. You can see some guppies over here eating some snello I threw in. These are the baby, baby guppies. Uh, they're getting big enough that they need to be separated now. Finally, you can see our big snails down there eating some snello. They're really happy. We gave them watermelon a couple days ago and they just gobbled it up. So everybody's doing really good. We haven't had any deaths really. We had like a few guppy issues where we lost one guppy at a time, but you know, when you have a gazillion guppies, you kind of expect that to happen now and then, especially with the females because they get stressed out when they give birth and you're very likely to lose them during that process. So, we kind of expect it. We still haven't had mystery snails breeding and laying any clutches yet, but now that the babies are getting bigger, the, both the ones we kept in the, the breeder tank and the cell tank, hopefully we'll get some clutches soon, because that would be nice. Uh, we did sell some of our bettas on eBay, which was great. They've been shipped off, they arrived yesterday. And then we're still just kind of working on sales right now. 
We can't breed any more fish till we get rid of all the jarred ones we already have. And we have a lot of them. So we're just still doing our every other day water changes and trying to get them sold off little by little. Hopefully before winter gets here and it gets too bad. Ugh. <laughs> And really, I just, I can't wait. I really want to sell them off and get some new ones going. But yeah, that's about it. There's just, there hasn't been anything going on, so I haven't done any updates. We've just been letting everybody grow out. And everybody's been doing good. There's been no drama. We've just done a lot of sales and a lot of water changes. And I really, really, really need to clean my fish room. Because look at this mess. These are like orders I got in and buckets and stuff because I'm in here basically every other day sometimes every day doing water changes <laughs> so it's just gotten to be bleh crazy <sighs> we're preparing for winter it's it's gonna be fun bringing my daft inside and I feel like they're just gonna die but I hope not I really hope not uh, we did miss a Saturday morning live stream just because I was exhausted. My sleep schedule's been like really, really off. I'm getting to sleep at like 4 a.m. and waking up at like 6 and then I sleep all afternoon because my schedule's off. So like, I'm working on it, guys. <laughs> We're going to get back to the live streams because they're really, really fun. But that's it for this update. There's just nothing to tell. Everything's been doing really good. Our bug cultures have been doing really good. Our darkling beetles made a comeback. We now have like about a gazillion of them again. And it's just been daily maintenance. Lots and lots of maintenance. Anyways, I will see you. Saturday morning for our weekly live stream and I'll see you in the next video.